sponsored by Hoosier Lottery. Fall is here, and what better way to celebrate the season than here at the Cover Bridge Festival? We are here in the tent, full of vendors. I'm joined by Kenzie Norman of the Cover Bridge Festival. First of all, thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. I wish everybody could smell this awesomeness because it's like cinnamon, apple, anything you can think of, it has, right? Yeah, it's any fall smell you could possibly think of. Pumpkin and apple and candies galore. So... I have to ask about the history, because this has been going on for a long time right here where we are. Yes, it started on this um, actual courthouse square in 1957, uh, so this is the 62nd year of having this Cover Bridge Festival. Oh my goodness, now how many vendors are here, do you know? Um, well, here on the courthouse square, we have about over 30, I do believe, um, and across the county, we have thousands and thousands of vendors. And it's all about just taking a look at history with these cover bridges. I mean, you're from Park County. What is it like to participate and work this event every year? It's kind of rewarding in a way because I get to be part of that. I get to teach people about the bridges, the history of where I came from. I'm pretty proud of my county and where I live. So uh, it's, yeah, it's very rewarding. And it's not just the shopping. People can actually take tours and go and look at these cover bridges. Yes, we put on um, cover bridge bus tours. They're guided, so you get a step on guide. It's a little bus, so um, they will tell you about the history as you see it. It's about three hours long, so you get to see five to six covered bridges, three up to two towns. Um, there are quaint towns, so they're really unique. Oh my goodness. Now let's go back to the food here. I mean, it's not a festival without food, and I believe festival food calories don't count. What do we have? Uh, we have anywhere from a loaded baked potatoes, my personal favorite. Um, we have pork chops. We have um, oh, everything that you could possibly eat. Corn fritters. That's one of a big staple here. Ice cream handmade on the square. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to step out of way a little bit so people can actually take a look at what's going on in this, this tent right now because anything you can think of, they have, I mean, bags are right in front of us. They have jams, jellies, candles. I mean, this is a perfect place to purchase a holiday present, would you say? Oh, yes. It's perfect for any occasion. A lot of people actually do their Christmas shopping now um, and hope that their Christmas money drops early enough so they can spend it here on this stuff because it's all unique and you only get it one time a year. I mean, it's wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful the fact that there are unique items. They have vendors. And, and real quick, a lot of the food I want to mention is all local? Yes, pretty much all of our food on the Courthouse Square are local organizations, nonprofits. So that money helps sustain them for the rest of the year. Along with a lot of the vendors underneath the tent, they're all local. So they really rely on that money to help get them by because that may not be their main source of income, but it's a big source. It really is. So once again, it's running through, the Cover Bridge Festival is running through the 21st, correct? Correct. And if you haven't been, this is the time to go. The leaves are changing. Come out and visit. You can hang out with Kenzie. Julie, I'm just going to toss it back to you.